My name is Aditi. I'm a PhD student at UC Berkeley, and I'm here to talk to you about WordSeer, an interface for exploring language use in literary text. And so now you might be wondering, what's so interesting about literary text? Well, the questions that literary scholars ask of text are really deep and really complicated, and it takes them a long time to get answers. For our project, um, I teamed up with Brian Wagner at UC Berkeley, and Brian is studying the collection of North American slave narratives. These are stories of escaped former slaves, and they're published by white abolitionists. And what Brian is interested in is characterizing them and typifying them. And so a question that he might be interested in answering is, what relationship did slaves have with God? And this is a complicated, deep question, because to understand it, you have to really have a sense of the entire collection. And you have to get the answers to what did God do? How is God described? Unfortunately, getting the answer to this question currently takes a long time. And that's because the state of the art in answering it is to use a graduate student. And so you, you pay or you, or you don't pay this graduate student to read all the narratives really closely, find passages that deal with the relationship between slaves and God, and then form a hypothesis and gather evidence to convince you. So there's clearly potential for search to speed up this process. We can digitize the entire collection and index it. And so instead of stumbling around the narratives looking for passages to deal with God, um, the graduate student can just search for them. And so that turns out it's actually an option for this collection because it was digitized by the University of North Carolina. And they put it on a website. And so we can go to a search engine and search the site. We can type in God. And when we get our search results, we can ask you know, what did God do and, and how is God described and stuff like that. So here are the search results. And you can see that they're actually all excerpts from the real slave narrative. So they're sort of relevant. But when you look at them kind of closely, they're not all relevant. For example, the first one is only there because God appears in the title. And many of them don't really have anything to do with the relationship between slaves and God. And how can you blame it, really? The search engine didn't really know what you were after. Either way, though, this is an improvement than uh, stumbling around the entire collection. Instead of having to read all the narratives closely, uh, you only have to read 37 pages of search results. And that's kind of an improvement. right? So to get even a vague sense of what did God do, how is God described, instead of taking five months uh, as would have previously taken, the graduate student can now do it in maybe a week, five days. But the graduate student still has to spend a lot of time reading each page that was returned. And so why is that? Why is there so much reading required? What is it that keyword search is missing here? And the answer is that keyword search models text as this mysterious bag of words, model sentences as mysterious bags of words, where sentences really aren't mysterious bags of words. Sentences follow rules, and they have a grammatical structure. And for many years now, it's been possible for computers to look at that grammatical structure and automatically understand it. So for example, here's a sentence that might appear in search results. The good God has given every man intellect. And on the left, you see the automatically extracted structure of that sentence. Using this structure, computers can infer really interesting and useful things about relationships between words. For example, in this sentence, a computer can infer that God is the agent doing the giving and that the adjective good applies to God. So in other words, what I'm saying is that it's actually possible to automatically answer the question, what does God do and how is God described without having a human necessarily come and read it. And so that's exactly the approach that we've taken with WordSeer. We want to make it so that a completely non-technical person can use this technology. And because we're using the grammatical structure of sentences, we can vastly increase the precision of the question that you're able to express. Instead of just a keyword, God, if you're after what does God do, you can choose the done by relationship, which pulls out verbs, and type in God. And if you're interested in how is God described, you can choose God and say is described as, which pulls out adjectives. And so you hit go, and of course you get your list of search results. But now, because we're able to scan the entire collection and pull out words that match, we're able to numerically, quantitatively summarize the entire collection and pull out words that you would have been interested in anyway. So let's zoom in a bit. What did God do? Well, he blessed, he knew, he gave, he granted, he praised. How's God described? Well, he's great. He's just living, true, holy. And so while you might think that slaves in their misery would blame God, they in fact seem to have a rather good relationship with him. 
And the great power of this sort of technology is that just like that, we've taken what would have taken an unassisted graduate student five months to do, and maybe five days to do with search results, and reduce it to a process that just takes five minutes. Thank you. Why, why is this so hard? I mean, where's the magic here? The magic? Yeah, why is it so hard to do? I mean, what, to, what is, to, um, uh, to implement this technology? Possibly because parsers are kind of slow. The, it takes uh, a long time to process and, and, you know, a sentence and get that kind of information out of it. I'm not sure if it's a parallelizable, implementable algorithm. So you're doing all this research. Where is it headed? What's next for this? So what's next for this is we want to actually do a research project with these historians and right. basically convince the humanities that there's place for this kind of technology <laughs> in the humanities and by in that process convince other people that, you know, natural language processing can actually help answer these really difficult researchy questions and can help speed up the research process. Right. I wish you lots of success. Well, thank you. Thank you.